In this video, we're going to discuss using the dashboard as the main way for you to filter through your past, current, and future courses on Moodle. Now currently, your in-progress courses are going to be accessible from the My Courses menu on the left-hand side. These courses become available to you upon the first day of that semester. But if you want to filter your courses further and choose between different semesters, the easiest way for you to do that would be to access them in the dashboard. Now, if you're not seeing the dashboard for whatever reason, your navigation menu might be collapsed. So if you're not seeing this and your screen sort of looks like this, you can choose these three horizontal lines at the top and then choose dashboard. Here under course overview, this menu is really important in regard to the dashboard because you're going to find everything you need on it. So right now I have mine set to all, which means everything that I am currently enrolled in past, present, and future are on this list and I can view them all here, except those that I have chosen to remove from view, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. But I may want to just see the courses that I'm currently teaching. So if I click on in progress, that will take me to all the courses I'm currently enrolled in for this semester. It will also show persistent courses here, as you can see. If you want to see courses from the past previous semesters, you can click past and this will show your courses from the past semester. Sometimes courses from the current semester will show up in here if the course end date has already passed for that semester. So if by any chance you are looking for your current course, it's not in in progress, it could be because that date has passed. So just double check in past to make sure. To see upcoming courses, you can choose future and if those courses have been made available on Moodle, you'll be able to access them from here as well. Now, there are two other things I want to discuss in regard to the dashboard that, so you can sort of personalize your view a little bit more. Let's say I have a few courses that I'm enrolled in. Maybe somebody put me in these courses or it's something that I don't use very often. I can choose to remove those items from view if I don't want to see them on my list. This will just remove it from your view. So if let's say I have this digital teaching course here and I would like to remove it from my view, I can click on the three dots here on the right and choose remove from view. Now on my menu here, I have the option to filter by removed from view. I can still access that course, but it's on its own menu and it's removed from the main menu here when I first log in. Similarly, I can also choose to star important courses if I access them all the time, sort of like a favorites menu. So let's say I have this knowledge base course that I would like to favorite. I can choose the three dots here, star this course, and now if I filter by starred, I can view that course here. And that sort of filters my favorites and I can easily access what I'm looking for. You can really easily remove the starred or the removed from view filter by just going to the same menu and choosing unstar this course. And if I'm in removed from view, I can choose the three dots and choose restore to view. And that will take it from this menu and bring it back here. The dashboard is a really easy way for you to filter the courses that you're looking for and allows you to stay organized when you're dealing with a lot of courses at once.